Let's head back to the hallway. Only one place left to check. The creative hub. Is there anything important in there? No, not really. But I'd prefer to clear all the areas to make sure we haven't missed anything. All right, then let's go. The creative hub's next. It doesn't look like anyone's been here. We should look around just in case. We might spot something odd. Sounds like a plan. Let's take a look around. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I need to find all the missing dice first. I need to finish printing it first. Ruben, does Mrs. Bird have access to Haven? No, I don't think so. Why are you asking? I found a blackjack, which I'm positive is the same one I gave to Mrs. B for protection before. That definitely shouldn't be in here. Perhaps we should take a look at the living quarters, too. Living quarters? Do people live down here? Not at the moment, but it's where most of the scientists stay while they're giving me a hand on the project. Let's head in. The living quarters can be found behind the door at the back. It's the door behind me. Let's look. Stay away from me! Georgiana! It's me! Calm down! Reuben, Carla, how glad I am to see you. For a moment I thought I was a Goner. What happened, Georgiana? Why are you here? Oh, dear. I... I'm not entirely sure where to begin. I was prepping the food for tomorrow's breakfast in the kitchen. Wait, it's still Wednesday, right? I'm sorry, Mrs. B. But why are you asking what day it is? Because I was knocked out, dear. Knocked out? How did it happen? I'm not entirely sure, love. It all happened so fast. Georgiana, how do you feel? Maybe Catherine should take a look at you. I'm fine, dear. It takes more than that to hurt me. I'm just happy to see that you're safe and sound, Mrs. B. Would you mind telling us what you remembered then? It will help us fit the pieces together. You said you were prepping food for breakfast, didn't you? That's right, I was. I was getting some ingredients from the fridge when I noticed someone going down into the wine cellar. So I followed. Why did you follow them? I thought it was Reuben, and I wanted to have a word with him. 
When did this happen? I don't know the exact time, but it was a bit after you came to ask about Jax. Alright, please go on with the story. I followed the person downstairs, but these old bones ain't as quick as they used to be. When I did reach the cellar, I only saw the Haven elevator door closing. So you kept following the person down here? Well, yes, dear. I did think it was rather strange that when I called for Reuben, no one responded. I thought something fishy was going on, so I went down in the elevator too. And how did you end up here? When I reached Haven, the door to the creative hub was open. So naturally, I went in. Then everything went dark. I'm sure that's when I was knocked out. Next thing I know, I wake up and hear voices coming from the other room. And here we are. Is there any way you can prove any of this? Well, no. But before coming down to Haven, I took my blackjack for defense. Um, okay. But what made you take it? Didn't you think that it was Reuben going into the wine cellar? I did but found it very concerning when no one answered me. Reuben always answers. And after getting locked in the fridge before, I'm taking no chances. I always keep my club close. Okay, I think I more or less have a picture about what happened here now. And you can have your blackjack back, Mrs. B. I am just glad Georgiana didn't get hurt. If you don't mind, I'd like my blackjack back. Oh dear, where did you find it? It was back in the room where you got knocked out. That's when I must have dropped it. Well, at least this part of the story checks out. Georgiana, let me lead you back upstairs. I think you've been through enough. Oh yes, dear. That would be splendid. Carla, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'll look around here in the meantime. Chloroform? This is probably what was used to knock Mrs. B out. I'd better take a photo for evidence. I should take the chloroform bottle too, and show it to Reuben. I doubt I'll find anything else down here. Time to head back. Georgiana is still a bit shaken, but she should be fine after a couple hours of rest. Did you manage to find anything else, Carla? I found a bottle of chloroform and a napkin that had been thrown into the trash bin. Chloroform? Can you show it to me? Of course. Show me the chloroform bottle. As I figured, the bottle was taken from the Haven's laboratory. What do you think, Carla? Do you believe Mrs. Bird? I do. Everything she said added up. Honestly, I don't see a motive for her to break in here either. That's reassuring. My thoughts were the same. We should probably go over what we found. Fairly certain the intruder broke in to find more info on Genetica. And from Mrs. Bird's story, we know the break-in happened around the time we had the interview. 
Right. Do we know where everyone was during that time? Not really. Only that Mrs. B was in the kitchen, and that she followed someone into Haven. Hmm. It won't be easy to determine who could have done it just from the timing alone. Perhaps we should think about this from a different perspective. There is one thing that's been lingering at the back of my mind. Why did the security alarm go off? Perhaps the intruder made a mistake and set it off by accident? I doubt it. They already had full control of the system. I think the alarm was triggered deliberately. But why would they trip the alarm on purpose? There has to be a reason. Chances are, they thought they could blame the break-in on Mrs. B. Or, Georgiana could have triggered the alarm on purpose to make herself the victim and avoid suspicion. Do you really think that's the case? Probably not. But I wouldn't throw any theory out the window at this point. Let's head to the entrance hall. There's one last thing I need to check on. Sure, let's go. Let's go to the entrance hall. Carla, what I'm about to show you is top secret. You have to promise me to keep this between the two of us. Of course. I'm not sure what I should be looking at. Behind this wall lies a secret vault I built to keep my most valuable possessions. Carla, you have the code to open it. I have the code to open it? What are you talking about? I gave it to you on your first day here. Remember the musical notes I wrote down for you? I'm a bit confused. Why would you give me piano notes as the code for a secret vault? I gave it to you as a puzzle at first. I thought it'd be interesting to see if you could solve it. Why? Well, I did my research on you and your reporting acumen before you got here. I thought it would be an interesting experiment to see if you could figure it out. I can't believe you would conduct an experiment on me. I'm sorry. Perhaps experiment was the wrong word to use. It was supposed to be more of a fun riddle for you to solve. But I didn't expect everything would take a turn for the worse and end up the way it did. I doubt any of us expected it. All right, Ruben, what do you want me to do? Place the piano note by the lock. It's the key that opens it. The piano note is the key to the vault. I should use the piano notes to help me unlock the vault.
Wait, this melody. Ruben, I think I've heard it before. Ruben, what's the name of this song? It doesn't have a name, and it's not even a song, just a melody. There's a lot more I'd like to share with you, but we're best leaving it for another time. All right, I'll look forward to that. Good. Now let's stop standing around and head into the vault. Let's go inside the vault. Welcome to the vault. This is where I keep my most valuable possessions. There's so much history down here. I thought you'd like it. Sometimes I find myself coming down here to remember how far we've advanced as a society. Right. I think we got a bit sidetracked. We're here to find a blue folder containing notes on Genetica. The last time I was down here, I rearranged some things. I'm not exactly sure where I put it last. Mind giving me a hand finding it? Of course. You can count on me. Keep an eye out for a blue folder. I need to open it somehow. There should be a way to turn the clock hands. I found your folder. You're amazing as always. Pass it over, would you? Give me the folder, Carla. Great. The notes on Genetica are still here. Are you planning to take them with you? No point. I'll leave them in the vault. After all, the notes are all here. That means the intruder didn't manage to get in. Oh, right. How come? Isn't this room connected to the Haven system? The lock isn't. The intruder could only get in by knowing the combination. Who knows the combination? Only you and me. That's it. Anyway, the folder will be secure here. What we should be concerned about are our next steps. Do you have anything in mind? I'm a bit concerned about Sam. I don't think he would have left his self-appointed post without a good reason. Any chance it was the Admiral who broke into Haven? I don't believe so, but I'm not writing off the timing as a coincidence just yet. It might be related. That's why we should investigate this further. Let's head to the cliffside. There's a chance Wilkinson's already back at his post. We should find out whether Sam's back at his post.
No one's here, Reuben. Let's check. Maybe he's inside. Samuel might be in the starship suite. It's locked. Hmm. He's probably not inside then. Reuben, Carla, can you hear me? Dr. Cap, what's going on? Where's the Admiral? I'm not sure. Sam locked me in here a while ago and left. All he said is that he needed to take care of some documents. Documents? Reuben, while you're still here, I'm sorry I took the notes about Jeannie. I was trying to help. Cat, I never doubted your intentions. Once we find Samuel, I promise I'll get you out. Thanks, Reuben. It's more than I could ask for. Dr. Cat said something about paperwork the Admiral needed to complete. Any idea what paperwork she's talking about? No, I'm not sure. Let's check the Admiral's suite then. Maybe he's back in his room. Where could Samuel have wandered off to?